ഹലോ എവരി വൺ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ അന്നു ആദി ക്യൂട്ട് വേൾഡ് ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് വീഡിയോ ഐ വിൽ എക്സ്പ്ലോർ യു ആൾ അബൌട്ട് ദ ഫേമസ് അഗാഖാൻ പാലസ് പൂനെ അഗാഖാൻ പാലസ് ഈസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ടോപ്പ് ടൂറിസ്റ്റ് അട്രാക്ഷൻസ് ഇൻ പൂനെ ദ അഗാഖാൻ പാലസ് ഹാസ് എ ഡീപ് റൂട്ടഡ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി വിത്ത് ദ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഫ്രീഡം സ്ട്രഗിൾ Agakhan Palace built in 1982 by Sultan Muhammad Shah Agakhan and it is a magnificent piece of history situated in 19 acres of land in the Yerwada area in Pune. This is one of the most important landmark of Indian history along with the Indian freedom struggle. Agakhan Palace is one of the most stunning piece of architecture in all of Pune. This is also a famous tourist attraction which has designed by the world famous architect called Charles Correa. The Aga Khan Palace is situated in a huge ground and has five luxurious and spacious halls along with several lofts. The structure resonates of Italian architecture. This palace houses the samadhis or memorials of Mahatma Gandhi's wife Kasturba Gandhi. Sources suggest that both Kasturba Gandhi and Mahatma Gandhi's secretary Mahadev Desai breathed their last in this palace premises. And it is because of this that their memorials have been safeguarded in the palace grounds. The palace is known for organizing several exhibitions and programs throughout the year. Most of this reflects Gandhiji's lifestyle, thereby offering visitors a deep insight into the Mahatma's life. It is because of this and Gandhiji's link into it that the palace is now also known as Gandhi National Memorial Society. One of the most prominent attractions of this palace is the room where Gandhi stayed during his imprisonment along with his personal belongings and pictures of the other freedom fighters. The Aga Khan Palace has a deep rooted history with the Indian freedom struggle and Mahatma Gandhi attached to it. After the Quit India movement was launched, this palace acted as a prison for Mahatma Gandhi, his wife Kasturba Gandhi, as well as his secretary Mahadev Desai between August 1942 to May 1944. Additionally, many known figures of freedom struggle such as Sarojini Naidu were also imprisoned here during 1942. It is during this time that Kasturba Gandhi and Mahadev Desai took their last breaths here. Subsequently, the Mahatma buried them here, thereby establishing their memorials in the palace premises. Gandhi and the others were kept imprisoned in the palace for almost two years before they were released in May 1944. In 1969 Aga Khan donated the palace to the government of India and it is after this that the Aga Khan palace came to be known as Gandhi National Memorial Later in March 2003 the palace was declared as a monument of national importance by the Archaeological Survey of India As of now The rooms where Gandhi and others used to stay serve as a museum. They were the surviving testimony to the struggle of India's independence. Gandhi's belongings from the times of his stay are exhibited here as well. Aga Khan Palace is located in an area of 19 acres in Pune's Yerwada area. The Aga Khan Palace is famous for its amazing blend of Islamic and Italian style of architecture. It is a unique combination of Italian arches and huge luxurious lawns with the finer Islamic details on it. 
The palace is known to have expensive, well-maintained lawns built on an area of seven acres, along with five magnificent halls in its premises. Moreover, a 2.5-meter wide corridor encircles the palace, which has two stories. The palace was designed by renowned architect Charles Correa. The Aga Khan Palace is a great example of the interweaving between the European and the Saracenic styles of architecture. Having a built-up area of almost 28,000 square meters, the presence of many beautiful French lawns, fountains, long corridors, spacious rooms, raw style windows as well as Italian arches enhances the opulence of the palace even more. Today, the Aga Khan Palace serves as a headquarters of Gandhi National Memorial Society. Furthermore, it houses several exhibitions of those times including the personal belongings of the Mahatma. Additionally, it also has many photographs and artifacts associated with the Gandhis and other freedom fighters of the Indian freedom struggle. Many public functions and important days and dates are celebrated at the Aga Khan Palace. All of these celebrations are organized by the Gandhi Memorial Society. The palace celebrates 15th August Independence Day, 26th January as a Republic Day as well as Mahatma Gandhi's birth anniversary on 2nd October every year. This palace gets lit up in all its glory on all of these days, shining like a bright star above Pune's Nagar Road. Other than these annual events, sessions for morning prayer are held at the Samadhi every day for decades. Huge crowds turn up for these prayer sessions, which increases tenfold during the annual events. The Aga Khan Palace houses the Gandhi Museum which displays many artifacts and the things of the times gone by. It is among us the most frequently visited place in the palace premises by tourists. In addition to the paintings, sculptures, murals and photographs of the Indian freedom struggle, the museum also houses the personal belongings of Mahatma Gandhi and the Gandhi family. This includes Gandhi's letters, clothes, towels as well as slippers among other things. Additionally, the rooms which were used by Mahatma Gandhi, his wife Kasturba Gandhi, his secretary Mahadev Deshai and Sarojini Naidu have also been well preserved and are open for public displays as a part of the museum. The room which was used by Sarojini Naidu has a poem displayed in it. The poem is written by Patma Sethi. Along with the poem, the room also has pictures of Indira Gandhi and many other leaders who were a part of Kit India movement and the freedom struggle. The museum also has a room which was occupied by Gandhi. A spacious room, it also has a huge hall which presents his writing desk, his charka as well as his sandals and other personal belongings. One of the main attractions of the room is a painting of the Mahatma and Kasturba Gandhi wherein the latter is resting her head on Gandhi's lap. The dining area which was used by them is also a part of the museum and is available for public viewing. The museum is also home to the final resting place of Kasturba Gandhi as well as Mahadev Deshai who breathed their last wish in imprisonment here at the palace. 
Naga Khan Palace is located around 3.7 kilometers from the Pune airport. You can avail a taxi or book online or even take your own car to reach the Aga Khan Palace comfortably and faster. The route from the airport is quite a convenient and straight one with no major left or right turns on the street intersections. Most auto rickshaws and state or private buses departing from the airport can easily take you to the Nagar Road where Aga Khan Palace is situated. Usually a drive from the Pune airport in a cab can take between 12 to 20 minutes depending on the traffic. The best time to visit Aga Khan Palace is between the months of late September or early October and April. The months from March to early June are the hottest and the most oppressive months in the city. A visit to Aga Khan Palace during this time is inadvisable since the temperatures can soar at almost 40 degrees Celsius at this time. The Aga Khan Palace is located at Nagar Road, Samrat Ashok Road, Pune, Maharashtra. We can visit the palace every day between 9 am to 5.30 pm. The places to visit near Aga Khan Palace are Bunt Garden, Osho Ashram, Shenivar Vada, Tribal Cultural Museum, Padaleshwar Cave Temple and Lal Mahal. There is no doubt that the Grand Aga Khan Palace is one of the best places to visit in Pune, especially for history lovers. There is a charitable cause behind the construction of Aga Khan Palace. Sultan Muhammad Shah Aga Khan built this palace in 1892 with the motive of providing employment to the villagers living in poverty in the area of Pune. It is constructed over a period of 5 years with a budget of 12 lakhs. The whole area covers 19 acres and as much as 13 acres of land is allotted to greenery. Aga Khan IV handed over the property to India in 1969 as a token of respect for Mahatma Gandhi and his ideologies. Thereafter, the place was turned into a museum and was made as the headquarters of Gandhi National Memorial Society. You can explore the Ghadi and Handloom textile shops, library and documentation center, Kasturba Mahila Ghadi Gramyog Vidyale and other training centers. If you are into Indian history and Gandhism, you should definitely visit Aga Khan Palace. Hope you all got some basic information about Aga Khan Palace from my video. If you feel it was really informative, please like my video, comment your valuable opinions and share it with your friends and family. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Annu Adi Cute World for more informational and interesting videos. Thank you all. Have a great day.